the Hutton's Grace Hurdle is next. This is a grade one again, and uh, two and a half miles this time. El Centro Token for Vinnie Generati, Emotional, Joshua Sutherland, X Adventure, Darren Thompson, Zaru Zeus, Patrick Hogan, Absolutely, and Beach Breeze, David Hooley, Big Penny, Greg Beckwith, Emmett Oatway, James Shea, Extreme Maneuvers, and Gold Coast, Leon Van Rensburg, Judge Anderson, Joshua Sutherland, Moran's Dimension, James Shea on the dark side, Craig Beckwith, Pastime Dreamer, Martin Lidham, Rebel Run, Padraig Hogan, Sierra Vista Sooty for Vinnie Geron, Smokescreen, David Robertson, and Tangled for Martin Lidham. A field of 18 then, big field for this. Grade 1, and away they go. Not that many two and a half mile handicap hurdles this weekend, I would think. Then if they've got 18 in this one, and a few of them would have probably preferred to run in a handicap, given a chance. But it's El Centro Token. And absolutely, you're disputing it. looks like absolutely maybe the one more keen to go on. And now does so. Two and a half miles on the trip, but only ten hurdles to take. And absolutely has gone off into a good four to five length lead. Over the first, which they all get over okay. Extreme Maneuvers is the back marker, along with the second David Healy horse, Beach Breeze. So they've got one in the lead and then one right out the back. Absolutely is setting the pace on the dark side is moving to the second in those white sleeves for Craig Beckwith. There's a line of about five or six of them then disputing third. And closest to us is Morland's dimension. And right over on the far rail is Joshua Sutherland's emotional as they get over the next and down on its nose there was Tangled. And let's drop to the back now. Absolutely leading from Moore's Dimension there second. On the dark side third, Judge Anderson is fourth. Then Emotional and Smokescreen. The Captain El Centro token. And X Adventure jump that nicely as well. As they come up past the winning post, then a complete circuit ahead of them. Big gap in trap this and absolutely is the leader from Moreland's Dimension in second, then on the dark side is third, Smokescreen is four, then come the Sutherland pair, George Anderson and Emotional, and after that one is El Centro Token, Zaru's use is after that as they take the fourth, then comes X Adventure, Big Penny on the rail is next, Rebel Run, and Beach Breeze is getting a little bit closer, and alongside that one, Pastime Dreamer, the one closest to us is the Leon van Rensburg horse Gold Coast, his other one is to the inside of that. Towards the back Sierra Vista Sooty is now the back marker. But it's absolutely who continues to lead by about three lengths to on the dark side in second. Smokescreen is third, just ahead of Mauler's Dimension Emotional on the outside of that little group. With Judge Anderson tucked in, the one creeping up the inside is El Centro Token in the two shades of green. That one's getting closer. Zaru Zeus is trying to go with it, so to X Adventure. And behind them, Rebel Run and Pastime Dreamer. Big Penny caught on the inside. Behind that one, looking for a, a little bit of racing room, appears to be Beach Breeze also towards the rear M and Oakway. And Tangled is still at the back as well. Sierra Vista Soot is still the back marker as they take the sixth. Which they're all over okay and absolutely continuing to lead. Oh, Judge Anderson in an emotional second and third. Smoke screen is fourth. More as I mentioned is fifth on the dark side has just dropped back a little bit. Then in central El Centro token has been pulled off the fence. Pastime Dreamer is after that one. X Adventure him and Oakway trying to get a little bit closer. Big Fit Penny is under pressure. The two Leon Van Rensburg horses are very wide on the track with Tangled. Beach Breeze is the back marker. We're going to try and slip up the inside. They're all coming down towards the final five and a half furlongs. And now absolutely is in the lead but being challenged now in second by El Centro Token who's come through. They've got three more flights to take. And absolutely is in the lead. El Centro Token looks to be cruising in second. Then comes Judge Anderson and Smokescreen after that one on the dark side being ridden along. Then comes Judge Anderson. Emma Oakway is now getting into it as they get over to third last. And over that one they go and it's still absolutely in front from El Centro Token and Emotional. Then comes X Adventure. Sierra Vista Sussy was out the back. He's now starting to run on around the outside. Also there is Emma Oakway trying to get into it as well. But this absolutely is kicked on for home. Two and a half furlongs to go. Two flights 
tries to get over. Absolutely is in the lead. Sierra Vista Sooty X Adventure on the dark side. Then El Centro Token and Judge Anderson. They're coming down towards this second last now. The leader jumped it really well, got away from it well. Absolutely continuing to lead from X Adventure, who's now starting to close. Then on the outside comes Sierra Vista Sooty on the dark side, trying to run back. So too is Judge Anderson, but now X Adventure hits the front, immediately pressed by Sierra Vista Sooty. It's over the final flight they go, and X Adventure's the leader, and X Adventure looks like he's going to hang on. X Adventure looks like he's going to take the hands brace for Darren Thompson. X Adventure wins it. Judge Anderson might have been second. Sierra Vista Sooty on the dark side. El Centro Token was up there as well, all the way back to Tangled. He was right out the back. And good day for Darren Thompson so far as X Adventure takes the Hatton's Grace. Sierra Vista Sooty was second. So X Adventure the winner then for Darren Thompson. Sierra Vista Sooty second for Vinnie Gerard. Judge Anderson third for Joshua Sutherland. On the dark side, Craig Beckwith was fourth. And El Centro Token for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.